together, let's calculate the packing efficiency of a simple cubic unit cell. A simple cubic unit cell has the atoms stacked directly side by side and on top of each other. The layers are not off center, which would make it more efficient. In fact, the only element that crystallizes this way is polonium. That's neither here nor there. Packing efficiency is a measure of how much of the total space here is actually used up by atoms. To calculate that, and it's going to be a fraction or a percent, you need to calculate the volume of all the atoms that are inside this box and divide it by the volume of the box itself. The volume of the atoms and the volume of the unit cell. Now, for simple cubic, you have eight corners of atoms and each of those corners happens to be an eighth of each atom. Put another way, you have one whole atom within one cell in a simple cubic arrangement. I have never seen it drawn this way, but it would be exactly equivalent to having a sphere inside a box and then those boxes would get stacked on top of each other and side to side. For simple cubic, it's just like basketball in a box. One atom, one box. Easy. The volume of the atoms here is going to be the volume of one sphere. If you don't know what the formula for volume of a sphere is, I'm a little surprised because you probably should if you're talking about simple cubic unit cells. It's 4 thirds pi r cubed. Great. Now what about the volume of the cell here? Now if each of these spheres has a radius of r, which we have called it, then we have one r here for that little chunk. And we have another r here and they are buttressed against each other along the edge. That means that the length and width and height of this cube is 2r, which means the volume of the cell is 2r times 2r times 2r, which is 2r all cubed. So the volume of spheres here is 4 thirds pi r cubed, and the volume of the box itself is 2r all cubed. If you can simplify this, the r's will cancel and you'll be left with some number between 0 and 1, which represents the packing efficiency. Let me remind you how we do things like this. This is 4 thirds pi r cubed, because this is multiplied by the fraction, it gets multiplied into the numerator. And then when you divide by a whole number, it's like multiplying by its reciprocal, 8 r cubed. I've dropped the brackets and cubed everything in brackets. That's why I'm allowed to do that. Now there's going to be a bunch of canceling that can get done. R cubed and R cubed do in fact cancel. Thank goodness, because we wouldn't want the efficiency to be based on R. That's not true in FCC or HCP or BCC or any of the other packing arrangements for atoms. And we end up with 4 pi over 3 times 8 is 24. That can reduce a bit to pi over 6. If I do that on the calculator, and I personally do need a calculator to do that, I get 3.14159 divided by 6. I get 0 0.5236, which means that the packing efficiency of a simple cubic arrangement is just 52.36%. Or rather, of all the space that these, I don't know, the polonium takes up, only 52% of it is actually atoms, and the rest is wasted space from the way that the spheres have put themselves side by side. It's the most inefficient of the packing methods for spheres, but hey, that's why only one element does it. It's a radioactive one that's pretty unstable, as far as I can tell anyways. All right, packing efficiency is easy. Get the volume of all the spheres inside, divide it by the volume of the unit cell, which is also going to be based on R. If you want to calculate it for BCC and FCC and all that other stuff, go ahead, do it yourself, or watch more videos by ya boy, Chemist Nate. Best of luck.